Hey everyone, it's Super here. In today's video, I'm going to show you the top 10 plugins for Roblox Studio. Now, these are really great plugins. I'm going to be going over 10 of them, and these are really good for your games. And I'll have links to all these plugins in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and install them for yourselves. I highly recommend doing so. First plugin I'm going over is Archimedes. I, I don't know if I said that correctly, I probably didn't. I'm just going to show you how it works. Just put it in a part here. And you're gonna be able to do it on an angle, which is actually amazing to do. It can help a lot just with that. So we can just press render, 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 render. So we can make it come all the way back around. And it's gonna make it a complete circle. So it literally can just make these curves and everything, and they look super clean. You can make it like, you can do this really fast. It's very efficient. I'm gonna do another one. And we can change their direction here, which I'm going to put it on top of it, so that'd be Y2, render all, and then it'll just finish it up with like that. And it's literally like so amazing. It's like a this little arch right here. I mean, it's not really standing all the way up because of the way I position the the part, but anyways, it's really great. I highly recommend getting this plugin. All right, for this next plugin, I have the model resize, which is very useful because you can make anything in your game bigger or smaller. There's a little settings menu right here, which you can mess around with this if you need to. We just have it enabled if you're already. Go ahead and use it. We have it enabled because we have you know, the orange bubbles right here. And whatever you want to call those. So basically, it's just a scaling thing. Go ahead and make this car smaller. And I'm just using this car as an example. But anyways, I can make it even smaller than it is. And now it kind of looks like a toy car from down here. They can make it super big as well. Which is actually crazy. You can make this whatever size you want to be. You can do this with houses, your character, whatever. And also I think this can really help a lot with your games. And I highly recommend using this plugin. So the next plugin I'm going over is this cutscene plugin made by Codes Ataku. And basically it's a cutscene creator. You can make cutscenes for your games. And uh, I actually did make a video on this plugin already. If you guys want to go ahead and watch that and see how to uh, make cutscenes, you can watch that video. It's a very awesome plugin. I highly recommend using this. And you can just make really great cutscenes for your games with this. For this fourth plugin, I have a Sun Precision plugin. And it's really nice to use. Basically, click on it up here. And then we can probably drag the sun to wherever we want it. It's actually kind of crazy it's as far as a cursor like that. And then you can see the moon can come up. You can make it nighttime if you want. You can make it any time of the day with this plugin, which is, makes it super useful. And I highly recommend using this plugin. It's really great. And you can just use it to make whatever kind of game you want. So the fifth plugin is this 3D text maker, which is really cool. Here I can just put 3D text wherever I want. And you can just go ahead and uh, click on it. So basically you can write whatever you want here. Subscribe to Seerfruit, which I highly recommend you guys go ahead and do that. Anyways, you can go ahead and change the font to whatever we want in here. Put a few fonts to choose from. You can change, you know, the scale, thickness, all that stuff. You can change the appearance, what kind of color it is. Make it an orange. And then we can go ahead and finalize it. And we can move it after that. And it looks really awesome, and this can help a lot of your games. Is having 3D text and everything it could be super useful. For the sixth plugin is the Part Two Terrain, which is very useful. Go ahead and select whatever part you want, but basically you can take a part and change it into terrain, which is very awesome right here, which is selected. You can see it's highlighted by yellow. Go ahead and click that and just put grass right on top of it, that's crazy. I'm going to do it to the base plate as well. Oh wow, change it to any of these materials that are in this GUI right here, which is pretty awesome, you have many to select in here. So it's, it's a really good plugin, I highly recommend using this one as well. It can help a lot with your games. It's just making a map would be very useful with this. For the seventh one, I have the Tool Grip Editor, which is very useful because when you're making your own tools for your games, you can go ahead and change the grip of them 
to you know show differently when you equip it on your avatar in game this you can make it look like they're actually like holding something you know which can be very useful um i don't know if the plugins are working while i'm trying to record this video um i can't really show how it works right now i, I don't know why it's not working at the moment but i highly recommend using this plugin it's really great and you definitely use it for your games when you're making your own kind of tools it can be very helpful for the AVE plugin, I have this rig editor, which can be very useful when it's just doing models or anything in game, and you can animate these models and everything. Please press this here. It's gonna add something to the model humanoid, the humanoid to it. I'm gonna go ahead and use the plugin now. All right, so we can go ahead and create some joints on the model here. Let's go ahead and create some. There we go, and then we can do it like that. And then we can go ahead and edit the joints as well if we want to. We can change exactly where the joint is and everything. And then after you're done doing that, you can go ahead and go to the rig scaler. Continue. Commit changes. And uh, yeah, this can be really useful. I actually really haven't used Rig Editor that much, so I don't know exactly how to do everything with it. It can be very useful when using models or anything, creating your own characters for your games. Using the Rig Editor can help a lot, and I highly recommend using that plugin. For the ninth plugin, I have the Row Defender, which is actually to protect your games from viruses and everything. So if I go ahead and just click on this here, and you can see here it basically just does a scan, this is like a normal antivirus. So this can be very useful when you have like a big game and everything you're working on. Because if you get virus in your game, it can mess up a lot of things. And with the Road Defender, you can easily protect your games and keep them safe. All these plugins I'm going over are completely free to use by the way. Because I made sure of that before I started making this video. That they are all still free because people have been changing some plugins and making it so you have to pay for them now. Final plugin I'm going over in this video, the tough one, it is the Realistic Rain, which can be very helpful for your game. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it out here. And I also did make a video on how to add a Realistic Rain to your games with this plugin, so you guys can go ahead and watch that if you want to. Go ahead and click Enabled, and you're gonna see it right now in the game. And you can have Preview Active. You can turn on Preview so you don't see it while you're working in the studio. As you can see here I had it apart and there's no rain going through it because obviously it's realistic and it does not go through any parts, meshes, and you know stuff like that so it just basically hits the ground and it'll hit anything right here and then you can stay covered from the rain as well. This is a really good plugin and you can adjust a lot of things in it. The intensity, you can change the direction, the color of it, the volume, the transparency, the speed of it. Uh, there's a lot of different things in here, and I highly recommend using that for your game as well. So those are the top 10 plugins in Roblox Studio that you should definitely be using for your Roblox games. I think they can really help with your games, and I highly recommend just getting a few of them from this game. I don't think you would be able to regret it. You can learn how to use these plugins very easily. I know it kind of seems, you know, like a lot of work at first, but it's actually easier than it looks, and it's really great plugins. I recommend using them. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. And if you have any questions, comment them below. Until next time, goodbye.